god, I hate it. Oh god! What? Parkour! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to At Left and Right. I am Phantom Porky oh, Butt. And I am Larkin Nightingale. <laughs> and I don't remember what this is. It's called, like, Generative. City. It'll be in the description below. I don't know. Basically, you're just fucking free running shit. Or, uh, so Larkin and I have finally decided to get our lives together yeah. and take this channel a lot more seriously. So I come over here with my laptop, and my laptop just fucking decided to stop working. No! So, um, that happened. Can I? Um. So yeah, we have, I mean, I'm not going to say big plans, we have fairly mediocre plans for this Yeah. Because, you know, we both... Cause our intention is not to make a career out of this. Just for fun, you know? Yeah, just just for shits so, and giggles. Yeah. If we if we become famous and YouTube wants to give us money, then shit, we're not going to say no. <laughs> um, we, we really make this stuff for ourselves, because yeah. it's really fun to do this, to play different games and shit, and... We get this kind of time together. Uh, um, <laughs> and you know, we, we really don't care about views 100%, but I mean, we... What the fuck? Uh, Is that like a... Sorry, the nipple's on. <laughs> <laughs> Not her nipple, a nipple. <laughs> Let's all be clear about that. Look, just has random nipples laying around her, her computer. <laughs> this lightweight reminds me of this, like, this ass screen. Yeah. Have you played Mirror's Edge? Me? Yeah. Probably not. No. Um, well, it's sort of in the same fashion, because you're just... But you're doing way more parkour stuff. Um, but yeah, we we really don't care about these 100%, but we really... Yeah. We, we, we want to, you know, put we ourselves want, out. There. We want friends, is basically what we're saying. Well, we would I like want people to... Kind of community. look at what we do and be all like, "Hey, I like this." It's just like when you walk down the street and you're all like, "Wow, that person has a really nice shirt. I want to say something to them." But then the anxiety overcomes you and you don't do anything. <laughs> you just and then you lose a you, friend. You're just standing <laughs> across the street, creepily staring at them in their shirt and freak them out, and, mm -hmm. and then have an anxiety attack after. Jump. Okay. Do a flip. I think. What I assume the red box brings me to a new map. And whenever I'm close to it, it seems like I have seen I want to know if anyone knows where I can find um, footage of Love Never Dies, which is the sequel to Phantom of the Opera. But I want specific actors, and I've looked places, and I can't find anything. Basically, she wants the first... Um, version of Love Never Dies with... I don't know if it's the first version. Because I'm pretty it's sure it is. But the, the actors in it were the actors in Venom of the Opera for the 25th anniversary of... I'm not going to say her name right. You have to do it. Because I called her... I wrong. almost called her Christine. <laughs> Sierra, Sierra C Bar Bogus. Bogus and um, Mr. Caramelou. Car Car Caramelou. Caramelou. Um, yeah, so if anyone has any, you know... If, because knowledge. from what I've seen, it's... I mean, I don't think they recorded it on the first time because... I know um, it was pretty low budget the first time. Yeah, it, it was low budget and it was kind of like the first thing and they really weren't sure if they would do it. I mean, but based off the soundtrack, it, it sounded really Yeah, weird. and I know, I, I have the video of it from the Australian theater. <clears throat> but Like, the, I, like it, the Australian one, you can totally tell it's all like, it, they had the money. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. But and it was good, but I really like these two actors in particular. They have really good chemistry. Yeah, their chemistry was amazing, and just how they portray each of the characters. Um, well, we have a I little really obsession enjoy. with Mr. Caramel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so you know, if not, that's cool. I'm just curious if anyone. So did you time? Are you timing? Do anything? I am not. I don't know how much time has passed. We'll go. We'll go a little bit older. I hear it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my headphone, oh. my headphone wires like reaching across and.
I moved and it was in Larkin's mouth, and I don't know how to fix this problem. Yeah, except to switch spots, but I don't want to do That's that. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Um, I also do want a corgi. So, if anyone's make that happen. I feel like that's an easier request. But I already have three dogs that can't be around each other, so I don't think a corgi is the best thing to add to this mix. But. You know, I'm really juiced if we do move together for, to get our St. Bernard and our Mastiff. Yes. Because they, well, well, from what you've been learning, the St. Bernards are pretty lax dogs. They're, they're, all, they're both pretty lax. They're just huge as fuck. And we need to, you know, train like right away like day one oh, <laughs> <laughs> well. um sidebar i be i'm taking courses to become a uh, certified yeah, yeah, dog talk, trainer talk, talk, talk about it. i'm nervous now i can't get i i don't really know a lot yet i'm just i was just kind of learning basic things like body language lightweight learn about nutrition <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> um my first test is due on monday and i but, um, yeah, it's, I'm excited, I like animals, I have animal themed tattoo on my arm. That, that smells that of <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it was, it, okay, so, the, okay, what happened was, <laughs> <laughs> um, I had, a, I've, actually, I did count, and I've had over, like, 20 animals in my lifetime, mm -hmm. and I know that sounds like a lot, but, well, I mean, because it is a lot, but... Well, you're... We had a lot of straight You're about cats. the same age, though. Yeah, so I... So, pretty much, the first, every year you had a pet. Yeah, the first... But yeah, that's not what happened. We got a, uh, our first cat when I was two, and her name started with an A. So that's where the A comes from. <laughs> and then my dog we got when I was three, and my dog was, like, the best thing ever, and he died a few years ago, and I, I didn't handle it very well. Anyway, so his name started with a P, and so he's the second name or the second letter and then I have two other dogs whose names both start with an O and they're under it so it spells a poo and I didn't think about that when I got it and I mean it wasn't an issue until Larkin and her brothers brought it up and I was like are you serious now that all people said like oh you have a poo on your arm yeah just don't name your other pet with another P but um yeah I'm, I, I have a third dog right now that I'm looking for a home for her. We're more fostering her than anything. Um, she was in kind of a not so hot situation, and I do want to keep her, but it our dogs our the the poos don't your, your, the, your my ooze. O's the <laughs> ooze don't care for her. Um, so I have to small, find she's smaller, rather large. Yeah, I have the two ones are like ten and twenty pounds ish. Oh, dude. And then the other dog is like fifty pounds, so. Yeah, that doesn't work. But ugh, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna get her added on. I'm probably gonna get a couple more of my animals added on. I had too many to. Pardon me. This sandwich. Yeah, we we had, I, had too many. I had too many. I had too many animals to put on my arm. I'll just put the ones that I care about. <laughs> and I feel bad because after I got this, Lark's brother was like, "What about your other cats?" And I was like, "Shit." You're like, "What about your other cat?" You're like, "What the fuck is a cat?" <laughs> what, I was like, "What other cat?" I was like, "Oh shit." <laughs> okay, in my defense, though, I've had five cats in my life, and only two of them and are actually ours. Three of them are strays. He was sick. He, yeah, he got sick. It was weird. Um, I don't know what happened. We had him for how, quite a while. Yeah, how old was he? I don't, I don't even he remember. Was, he wasn't that old. No, he was... When you put him down. He, we... You, you, you were... I think maybe I was in seventh grade. Yeah, because I remember I was in middle school, and he and my guinea pig died like at the same time. Not at the same time, but pretty close together, I think. I don't remember. It was so long ago. I have... My memory's not good at remembering things, but I am full of useless facts, so if you're ever looking for any of those, hit me up. <laughs> Since I got those for you. But yeah, I'd, I'd list all the animals I had, but I don't think anyone cares. I might do it anyway. I'm gonna do it. So I've, I've had four dogs. I have three right now. Um, I've had five cats, two of them were ours, three of them were strays. I have to tell you, okay, when I'm done, I'm going to tell you a story about a stray cat that we had. <laughs> it, was <hor> <laughs> <laughs> it was a horrible situation. So, okay, so we had five cats, four dogs, two birds, three goldfish, a hermit crab, then we had Lark's hermit crab, which we talked about. I don't yeah. remember if it made it into the video or I, not. I, I'm pretty sure it did. I, I made sure it did. 
think it was I Am Ugg, yeah. part two. Yeah, it was, it's a very, very fun story. Yeah. And then I had a lizard for like a week, and I didn't know lizards lost their tails, so I cried when it fell off. My dad was like, you're stupid, calm down. Um, two birds oh! and fish. I had two guinea pigs. Um, one I only had for three weeks. Um, partly due, I, I don't remember how old, I was in middle school, I was like 7th or 8th grade I think, and Santa, I'm doing the bunny ears thing, you can't see it, Santa got me my guinea pig, which I had been wanting, and I was little so I didn't do a lot of, well, I was little, but I didn't do any research on it, um, and then the guy at the pet store, <laughs> told my dad that uh, he only needed certain things and we just put minerals in his water. That was the first guinea pig. This is my had. first guinea pig, yes. Okay. And um, he died like three weeks later uh, I, because of, I'm assuming malnutrition because they didn't tell us that they had to be on a different diet. We had, we had found that out like the last week we had him. We had looked it up and we started buying him stuff but he wasn't eating so it was kind of too late, and he died a couple days later. I was pretty sad. My rebound period was pretty quick. I think it was like the next week. I went out and adopted another guinea pig. I mm -hmm. I got this one from a shelter. And I didn't know they had shelters for. Well, it wasn't specifically guinea pig shelter. It was. It had. They had. They didn't Other have animals. A, yeah, they had mostly dogs and cats and stuff. They they only had a few. Like they Eats. probably had like ten rodent-like creatures. Mm. I don't remember any snakes or anything. That'd be weird to go to a shelter. And <laughs> I a lost snake. my snake! Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we adopted him, and I had him. They assumed he was, I think, like, two or something, and guinea pig, a guinea pig's lifespan is, like, five to seven years. And we had him for seven years. Or, no, five years, pardon me. And he was fat, and super antisocial, and so I didn't play with him a lot. And he was, he's, he's uh, what else did I have? We had a Venus flytrap. I know that's not a pet, but me and my dad were like convinced it was. We fought with my mom on it a lot. <laughs> and that's it. That's funny. I won't try that. I'm sure I'm missing things. My fish. Your birds. My birds. Oh, yeah, I had two birds. I got rid of them. I wanted a like a like a talking bird. Parrot? Yeah, but my parents got me parakeets, so it's a little annoying. They should have gotten you an owl. That would have been cool. Oh, damn, I had, no, I had, I think I had rodents at the time. I don't think that would have been a good idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, yeah, weren't you babysitting like a chinchilla at the time? Yeah, my friend had a chinchilla that I was in love with, and so she let me babysit. I don't remember what she was doing, I think, just because I wanted it. And they're really, this one was really cute because it had like a bowl with like volcano ash or some shit that you're supposed to have for them to roll in for their fur. And he loved, like, he knew the bowl, so, like, you'd start to put it in his cage, and he'd just, like, flop into it. And he had, like, a two- or three-story cage. It was, I mean, it wasn't big, but, you know, for a rodent, it's mm -hmm. a pretty decent But the chinchillas living. are pretty big. Yeah, they, they, I don't, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're not gigantic, but, mm -hmm. um, and he, like, he was on the top hiding from the and then I start to put his little lava ash cup thing in there and he just like rolled out and landed in the cup and I was like, good god, man. I remember, um, so something about her, her parakeet, yeah. um, she had them over at her grandparents' house. Yeah. Why was that? I don't remember. Well, there it was, was probably the cat. There was a reason. No, it was probably me. There was a reason and I didn't like they it. were there and, <laughs> um, we, the two of us were staying over at their house, and we were, they have a two-story house, so we were sleeping, I guess, what they would consider the ba one would consider the basement, or the first story. The upstairs. Yeah. Upstairs. Yeah. Um, and that's where the parakeets were, and you know, wow, we were all fine and stuff like that, but then, like, longer I was down there, I started to, like, my throat closed up, my, my sinuses were clogging up, and... I was dying, and I, I don't know why, but like, once I left the room and went upstairs, I was completely fine. And that's when we learned Larkin was allergic to birds. Indeed. It's, <clears throat> it's, 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 it, if I'm around them for 
quite a while is when it starts to get a little uh, weird. But we're at the birds at the zoo. There was another situation. Okay, yeah, there was like another situation where I had a lab class for my bio uh, spring semester, and one of our labs was um, opening up some owl pellets. And if any of you don't know, don't know what owl pellets are, because I don't know, it's it's not really owl poop. It's like essentially it's it's composed of the same things where it's waste from what they eat. So like if they ate a smaller bird, parts would show up in there. But not like the guts or anything. It's just like feathers and like beaks and, and, and yeah and, and and bones. Stuff that wouldn't digest in their stomach. But instead of pooping it out, they would throw it up. So and it would it looks like a hairball from a cat. So we would had to pull it pull it apart to get out all the bones. And so the one I was working on didn't have any feathers in them, but some other people did. And I don't know if that's why I'm allergic to them or not. Um, well, it's nearby. Oh! Um, but, uh, yeah, I remember it's during that entire lab, like, my nose was stuffy and harder to breathe. I, 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 I knew I should have, but what we were doing was so cool. <laughs> I, like, I was like, I'm, I'm willing to tell through. And, and plus, I feel like she's the type of teacher where it's like, regardless if you're gonna die, I want you to do this assignment. Right. I, I think, I, I remember, um, there's this one chick who was late to class during a test, and she came in the next day to ask if she could retake it, and she's like, well, the teacher's like, well, why weren't you there the other day? She's like, I was in a car accident. She's like, well, that's no excuse, but what? <laughs> uh, 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 Gina. <laughs> Gina, please. Like, uh, I don't really know, like, what happened to the situation after that. Um, I have a fun fact about guinea pigs, but continue your story. Oh, no, that was it. Oh. So my fun fact about guinea pigs, we should wrap this up. Yeah, no, me, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Let me tell you my fun fact real quick, and then we'll wrap this up. Guinea pigs have, like, a separate poop socket or something. <laughs> poop hole? Poop hole. I don't know, a sack. Sack's the word I wanted. Um, I was holding one of my guinea pigs, and suddenly he reached behind him. So I was like, oh, he's scratching himself, and then back he comes with poop in his mouth. It's <laughs> fucking disgusting. What are you doing? So then I he did it again, so I was like, what the hell is going on? So I looked it up, and he also had a vet appointment for something. He was fat, I don't know. And I asked the vet about it, and they said, yeah, it, um, they have, like, they eat that, their poop. It's not poop. It's not poop. It looks like they're. It looks exactly like they're poop. But is it just? But like, it has like nutrition in it. Oh, so it's like it, it's like a storage almost. I don't remember exactly oh. what she said it was, but it was really weird. So she's like, "Yeah, don't be alarmed if you see them doing that." And I was like, <laughs> I, "I'll do my best." But so that's it's kind of gross. So I guess it's basically like nutrients something. that didn't really absorb into their body, and they want to make sure they get it. <laughs> <laughs> something. That's what it said. That's kind of the gist of it. I, I don't remember. Because like I said, it's weird. It was a long time ago. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, anyways, this is, uh... So, that, this, was, that's what, this was this game and the story of my pets. Yeah. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Yeah, this game's pretty chill, anyway. We're really some it's commentary. Yeah. Yeah, I'm it's... trying to find that block. I saw it. <laughs> I lost it. Oh. I hear it. Oh. There it is. Alright, guys, so this was this game. I don't remember what it was called. It'll be down Generic. in the description below. This it was on Itch.io, so you can guys can remember. It's, it's really fun, because you just turn around. I did not play it, so I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. Have a good day. I know school, at least in our area, has begun. So <laughs> so school started for you. Good luck. Have fun. If you're in high school, if you're going into high school, it's going to be okay. It's not as bad as they make it seem on television, mm -hmm. in the movies. Um, Think yeah, no, don't don't get the catch up. <laughs> it's it's a lot of then fun. Then you can make a lot of friends. <laughs> You'll have fun and don't do what I did. Um, make sure to do extracurriculars. Like different clubs after school, join band was fun for us. Um That's drama. Cool. Dra drama, um art, do what you want to do. Yeah, do some do something. Have fun. Mm -hmm. It's it's you're, It'll benefit you in the long run. You, you may think I'm crazy, but you'll miss you'll miss it a little bit. Honestly, though, just 
you not sure if you want to do it, just do it for like a small time, like a year or so, and then if you don't like it, then quit. Yeah. You know, no one's gonna kill you or anything. Just say Hopefully you tried. not. Just say you tried. So that's my advice to incoming freshmen. Well, anyways, guys, bye. We'll see you later.